Hey traders, it's Trader Chris here. Thank you for joining me on the channel. Glad you guys could make it. I've got an awesome video in store for you today using our volume market profile indicator. I want to show you guys how we were able to use that to collect a 400 pip move in the market. And I'm going to show you guys how you can use it and really capitalize on taking good trades in the market. All right, so let's take a look at it and let's get into the video. How's it going? It's Trader Chris here at DinoTrading.com, the world's number one resource on learning real price action trading. I hope you guys are having a great week trading and I hope you guys have been doing really well and killing it in the market. Okay. So today what I want to go over is our new market profile indicator and I want to show you how it caught a potential $2,000 trade. Okay. So currently what I have on the screen for you guys is our proprietary T-bar chart. Okay. What the T-bars are doing is they are basically just giving you a more smoothed out approach that's just kind of just drowning out noise where it, where it really dials it back and really just smooths out the charting in terms of price action. Okay. So I want you guys to think of it like that. Okay. That's basically it. So from there, okay, what I want to go into now, okay, it's the moment of truth now. I want to go into our new market profile indicator, which I'm really excited about because you guys are going to see this and I really think you're going to be excited about it too once you get your eyes on it. All right. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the screen and you're going to go to the top left. It's always going to be in the top left right here and you're going to hit put on the longs, right? So pop on the longs, okay? And there you have it. There you have it on the screen, okay? Our market profile indicator and what it's based around is based around volume, okay? So as you can see on the screen, you have a series of a purple line, a red line, and a green line, okay? If you look at the purple line and the green line, that's the range between the two bands in which the market profile is being presented, okay? That's, the, that's the, our, basically our width. That's where everything's happening, okay? What you do in terms of taking an entry on the longs is you take entries when you, above the purple, and if we're taking a short, we take entries below the purple, okay? So in this case, we're looking to take an entry above the purple, but I want to explain a little bit in detail about what these characteristics of each line and color represent and what they do here, okay? Okay, so if you look right here on the stamp right here where we see this green, see this green arrow that's pointed out right here? Let me just really indicate where this is. Right here, this is where we take our entry, guys. That's where our entry goes, okay? I want to show you guys what happens next, okay? So you see the price broke through here, and we have a trade entry to go long based off what this green arrow is telling us to do. That's what the green arrow is telling us. It's telling us to go long. It's broken through the purple. And as we continue to trend, as price continues to trend, this red line will continue to trend as well, okay? So let me show you what happens next as we keep going, okay? So as, as price continues to trend, this red line is printing with it, okay? So once you see price come back below the purple, you're not out of the trade, okay? Don't get alarmed just yet. That doesn't mean you're out of the trade, okay? Once price breaks below the red line, that's when you get out of the trade, okay? That's when you think, okay, it's time to get out. It's a, you get your stop and you're out. You cut the trade, okay? Price is still trading within the bands, though, the purple and the green, okay? No trades take place in here. This is where you want to find to look for another entry point, okay? So as price continues to trend, we have another top opportunity to go long. So right here, this is where we take our entry, okay, right there. Okay, and this is where we get back to, we make sure we set our, we get back to break even. So this is where break even would be, right about here. So I want to show you, I want to keep going. As you see, price comes up, price comes back down, basically kind of does the same exact thing it did in the last example that I just showed you. Okay, comes back and it breaks below the red. So as you, as you see here, let's look again. We have a third opportunity to go long. We get a third signal to go long. Right here, price breaks above, and here we go price comes down and bounces off of the red line, price takes off like a rocket ship. Let me zoom this out and you can see this. And that's what we got. Price goes, there you go. Boom. That's your winner trade. That's your winning trade right there, guys. All right. So here we go. Take a look at this. I want to point something else out that's really important. Look how price respected the line. It respected this zone right here. This is what price respected. It, it didn't, it bounced right off this, okay? So you never got out of this trade because you never saw price go back below the red line, okay? Price bounced off the purple line. That's a, a very strong zone. That's what this zone is drawn out to do. It's, it's reading this historical volume-based zone where a lot of trades have taken place based off of historical volume of pre previous trades. So just so you guys know, don't ever get out of the trade unless it goes below the red, okay? Now, I want to show you guys this side-by-side 
on the shorts, okay? I want to pull up the shorts now so you guys can see what that looks like. This is the same exact chart, the Great British Pound NZD, okay? So let me pull up the shorts. Let's take a look and see what that looked like on the same trade, just so we can compare and contrast, all right? So look, we had one signal to go short, all right? I'm going to draw it right here so you guys can see it. This is the same exact error, but as you can see, if you took this short, you would have gotten stopped out. So I want to show you something here. It's really, really cool, guys. You didn't get any more short setups to go, all right? If you were watching this side by side on two different monitors, you could see clearly that you had multiple entries to go long. And as you see, price took off like a rocket ship, like I said a minute ago. There we go. Boom. And if you look at the shorts in contrast to that, you can clearly see that there were no more short signals that presented themselves, all right? Nothing. So that is what's really cool when you can really look at these two side by side and see what's doing, going on with the market profile indicator. It's really telling you how to stay out of the wrong trade. It tells you which way the market's going based off of the entries that it's giving you. So that is a very cool thing to pay attention to. Let's zoom forward and look at some more examples, all right? So if we zoom, zoom this forward, take a look at this, guys. So look, we've got the longs, we're on the long side now, okay? We're still in the longs. Do you guys see any longs? You see it breaking above the purple line anywhere on this chart right here? I don't see anything. So if I zoom this forward, let's go back on the shorts. Check that out. Look at that, guys. That is freaking cool. Let me delineate a little bit here. So right here is where this blue line was presented on the short side, and right here is where this blue line was presented on the long side, okay? So look right here, we had a short signal to go short right here, and look what this ended up doing. Boom, falling like a freaking rock. This is awesome, honestly, this is really cool. And I think this one ran for a $2,000 winner. This was the big win that we uh, took advantage of in the market. So let me write that out so you guys can see that more clearly. All right, this is one that just fell like a rock. You can clearly see the entry, it tells you right here. Let me also show you guys so you guys can see where to take that entry at what I'm looking at, right there. That's where your entry goes, right there, okay? That's it, that's all you're looking for. So back to the longs again, you don't get a single entry to go long, you get one entry to go short, and boom. That's all you need. You can watch this side by side and literally take your entries based off of that, knowing which way to go in the market. It's basically telling you when the market is breaking out of a key level, and that is what we want to know as traders. We want to know to really perfect our opportunities to take an entry in the market and know when and when not to enter the market, okay? So I'm really excited about this build, guys. This is something that we've been working on over here, dyno trading, and I know that you guys are going to love it. So if you guys are really interested in knowing more about it, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some webinars on it coming up soon. And I'm really going to get some more information on this, and I'm going to be getting videos up to you guys every day going forward, okay? So I want you guys to be able to keep up with us and see how this really works. So I'm going to be giving a lot of ways on how we can use the market profile indicator to better suit us in terms of our trading. All right, guys, so make sure you register below and hit that like and subscribe button. I'm Trader Chris. I'm happy to see you guys and happy trading. Make sure you guys are keeping up with us. I'll see you guys in the next video.